Welcome to our high tunnel. It's mid-May and I wanted to touch base about a great way that you can use your own body to integrate yourself into a system using urine as a fertilizer. Now, it's traditionally done where we, let's look back several hundred years, we didn't have modern wastewater treatment plants. So today our waste becomes a resource that is not used and becomes pollution. Nitrogen and phosphorus are clogging up waters, destroying waterways by uh, producing too much fertility in the water. So one of the things we can do about that is to cycle our nutrients. Human manure is one way to do it, but cycling uh, urine is another way to do it. We produce it every day. There's plenty of nitrogen and phosphorus in it, and plants need that to grow. There's some studies, particularly the Rich Earth Institute out of Vermont, that showed that uh, one adult's urine can grow and fertilize 320 pounds of wheat, just for context. So we have this every day. It's an icky thing that we tend to just push away, but there's a few steps that we've taken that we can utilize this resource effectively. First thing you might be thinking of is, ew, urine stinks. You know, fresh out of the body, it is sterile, but then it goes through a uh, ammonia process, which is basically the off-gassing of nitrogen. So I've had times where I collected buckets and Ren was like, ew, that's stinky. And that's just not the way anybody needs to be doing things. So one thing I learned recently was to either add ashes I put about four inches of uh, wood stove ashes in the bottom of the bucket, and that'll drop the pH, and it'll prevent that ammonia process from happening. So it'll contain more nitrogen, and then it'll also add potassium. You could also add a cup or two of vinegar or a teaspoon of citric acid to a five gallon bucket. So the first thing is you wanna store it in a way that you can use it for your plants without having the off-gassing, loss of nitrogen, and the stinky no funness. So once you have it, what we like to do is dilute it um, about three to one. We'll put it on moist soil. And what we're trying to do is feed the soil, not the plants. So we got some rosemary and some tomatoes. And as you can see, they could use some nutrition. They could use some nitrogen. So after it's been diluted, I'll usually strain out the majority of the ashes and add three parts water to one part urine. And then I use it as a soil drench. So I, I'm careful not to add it to plants, but basically I'm adding it to the the soil. Now you can use it undiluted too. I feel like it's easier to use it when it's diluted, but what this is doing is basically feeding the underground rhizo rhizosphere. So it's feeding the roots of the plants and this level of potency of fertility is going to burn the leaves. So if you do apply it, it's best to apply it either after a rain, after irrigation, right before irrigation, generally when the soil is moist because you want that nitrogen and phosphorus to be connected to the moist soil. So I use, you know, I don't have a specific ratio, but when plants look like they need it, I'll give them a little dose of it, making sure to not hit the leaves and basically cycling ourselves into the system again. And instead of creating a waste product, we're creating a resource that's abundant, that's free, that we pee out every single day. So it's a really nice step an entry-level way to be cycling nutrients and being part of the food system.